Hello and welcome to today's video. This time we'll be having a look through my vintage James Bond first edition paperbacks that have been recently housed in brand new deflector DC cases. So sit back, relax and let's get to it. Okay then, so it was about two or three months ago when um, I got my first batch of cases that had been custom built to house some of my more you know, collectible or attractive paperbacks. And uh, these were from a company called Deflector DC. Now, up until this point, I just had my paperbacks, you know, my better paperbacks would be in like plastic bags, you know, similar to comic bags, but I wanted to take them to the next level, similar to what's available for action figures. So um, I came across uh, Chris, who's the founder of Deflector DC at one of the toy fairs. Um, I think it was the Shepton one, Shepton Mallet. And then uh, we had a little chat and I said, well, what about doing some cases for paperbacks and books? And uh, he said, well, why not? And we found out um, Chris is from the same hometown as me, actually lived pretty close as well. So I was able to give Chris a few uh, of my better paperbacks, as you can see here. And we uh, we came up with, uh, or he came up with uh, a few prototypes and that's what these are. So as you can see, they the, the actual cases themselves are superb and the actual they are they are actually made to measure so they're custom fit so chris has got years of experience making custom cases for action figures so this was you know just sort of the next step really they already have cases for cds and video games and things like that so books was well it's the first few steps in that huge huge market and um i'll demonstrate how they actually work on this one this is an absolutely beautiful mint pan by uh, Pef, one of my favourite cover artists. And what you can do, so you can chop and change your books, of course, if they're a similar size. This is obviously a standard A-format sized paperback. Um, that ace one there is a slightly smaller um, Digest uh, US one. But you see, you've got the flap there and you've got these two openings like that. And you can slide the book out and basically that is replicated down the bottom so the book actually sort of sits on on like that and then you can get your new book whatever it might be slide it in there then you fold down the two flaps there we are and then you carefully pop the in now you get it in and each side sort of clicks in place like that and, and that's literally it so you're good to go. So these and uh, these ones here were the ones that I had as these were like experiments, really. These were just one ones that were trial ones to see how the process would work. Here's a bigger B format one there. And, uh, you know, just a proof of concept, really. And I think they look absolutely fantastic. So on the back of that, and I did do a little video of that original, uh, you know, of the original cases, um, I shall link to that one at the end of this video so you can go and have a look and um, see them uh, being actually assembled um, and a little, learn a little bit more about the company. But on the back of that, um, Chris has had lots of orders from right around the world. Uh, he mentioned someone had um, contacted him about a Cormac McCarthy collection. It's like 40 odd books, hardbacks, paperbacks. And um, the way Chris has done it, if you've got like a standard British A format paperback like that, Obviously, they come in different thicknesses. That is much thicker than, say, that one. So you can measure the book yourself and just adjust the depth and or width of the, uh, and height, of course, of the actual books in question. So the case will be literally you know, made to measure. Um, the other alternative, particularly if you've got bigger stuff, or if you want something custom like two books side by side, or even three in a line like that, might be to actually get the books uh, to Chris himself or um, pass them to him that way. But um, they're very contactable. You can just go to their website and, uh, and have a look. Anyway, on the back of that, we thought, well, why don't we tackle the James Bond books? So, uh, I uh, entrusted Chris with my collection of, James, first of all, the British James Bond Pan first editions, and we'll go through these in order. And, um, well, I mean, I think they look absolutely amazing. So these are, of course, amongst some of my more collectible and valuable paperbacks, in fact, and uh, I wanted them to have the best possible uh, protection. Also, I've often got these like stood up on display in front of the bookcases, in front of my like James Bond run. So I think they just look absolutely fantastic. I mean, they really, really do. 
but of course there are very very subtle differences between each of them so chris has now got the template for all the british um pan book james bond first edition so we've got the full run here and uh, we've got a selection of the american ones to have a look at in a minute that's the first three and yeah, diamonds are forever it's been a while since i've had these out um since i completed the set um, i've not really been chasing them although there are a few still a few different printings and a couple of different cover variations i'm still looking for but these are just amongst my all-time favorite paperbacks this is a slightly beaten up copy of the doctor no first but that one was signed in silver by pef and i got to meet the artist in the early 90s at one of the london paperback shows um so yeah got a few bits and pieces signed by pef then there's a real classic there goldfinger which of course came with the uh, the director's flash on the first printing for your eyes only and at Thunderball, once again, the first printing had the famous sort of bullet hole in the jacket. Absolutely superb. One of my favourites. I'll slide them over there to get the next run in. So arguably one of the most expensive Bond paperbacks of all, because as I'm sure Bond collectors are aware, the, uh, the first printings were all exported to um, Australia and New Zealand. So we often see them with 60 cents or even unpriced, but uh, they were exported. I like a couple of the uh, later ones. You Only Live Twice. Now, I haven't got the edition of You Only Live Twice, which comes with the film dust wrapper, but this is the first printing. But if I did have, I'd want a version of this, which is ever so slightly um, bigger, you know, so I would adjust it accordingly. It's a man with a golden gun. Spy, love me. Perhaps the most common of all the first editions, that one. I guess it had an absolutely massive, massive print run. And then um, Octopussy and the, and the Living Daylights, which is really tough to find in British pan first printing. Um, once again, I, I got my copy from Australia, I think, and uh, it took a, you know, I got it really cheap. It took about £7, but it took a lot of search. It took me about a year to find one. And in the end, the copy I had had massive spine roll on it. Still got a little bit of spine roll, you can see, but I was able to pretty much reverse uh, most of it. So that is... And you don't often see that, but that's a full set of the British Pan James Bond first edition, Ian Fleming books, in the correct order. And they've all got their fantastic, fantastic deflector DC cases on. And don't they look absolutely superb? I think they look amazing. And there are the first editions all together. Don't they just look fantastic on the shelf? They really, really do look quite special. But... That wasn't the end of it, so I didn't have quite all the first edition American paperbacks, but uh, Chris thought, yeah, why don't we do those as well? So let's get those out now. Okay, so here's a really, really uh, scarce paperback, particularly in the UK. It's the uh, the first American paperback printing of Casino Royale. Um, they actually changed the title for the American market. You asked for it. And it's a very slim volume from Popular Library. I do like the... Uh, the uh, writing, the blurb on the back where they call him Jimmy Bond, <laughs> as opposed to James Bond. But an absolutely key, key uh, vintage paperback, that one. Then we got uh, Moonraker, which was uh, released as Too Hot to Handle. Unfortunately, I haven't got them all, so I haven't got Live and Let Die. There's the first of uh, From Russia With Love. Now, you've got three books there, and all three of them are different sizes. Um, similar sort of thickness, but not the same, but there are actually three different sizes of book. So that's where the, the cases come into their own because they are in effect bespoke. Now, because Chris has done these for me, he's got the exact measurements on his website. So if you want your James Bond paperbacks done up, you could just contact Deflector DC and say, yeah, I want one of all the British ones, or I see you've done these American ones. If it's one that I've not got, don't worry, because you, you, can, uh, you can measure it yourself and uh, Chris will adjust it accordingly so he can get you the, the exact fit. Here's the, uh, the one for Goldfinger. That was the last one I actually picked up. A few your eyes only. You only live twice. I've got that one in a couple of formats. I've got another version of it, which is a first, but it's got a big sticker on. So that, I think that was probably the original one. And then we've got uh, 
Octopussy, which is uh, much, much easier to get than the British first printing. Really, really nice, that photo of Fleming there. Superb, that one. But that's not all. So that was my American ones. Um, and then we actually did a few sort of James Bond and Ian Fleming related books. So we'll look at those next. So here is by far my favourite cover to The Diamond Smugglers, which is by uh, Taylor. Absolutely fantastic. Much better than the uh, the reissue with the uh, the hand holding the diamonds. I think that one's uh, fantastic. Really love that one. I uh, said so these are just a few sort of miscellaneous Bond related books that we thought we'd try out just to see what they look like. Here's uh, Colonel Sun by uh, Kingsley Amos. You can see the better condition the books, the better they look <laughs> in these cases. This is one of my all time favourite Bond books. This one from Panther. Absolutely superb for Bond lovers only. There's a two printings and there's an American edition as well. They usually turn out quite beaten up because of the, you can see it there, it's got a big photo insert, about 60 pages, and the photos are excellent. And they're often uh, detached or fallen to bits because of that. Um, here's an odd one Gilt Edged Bond. This is one on Sean Connery, cashing in on his. Uh, Popularity is James Bond. And uh, my personal favourite of the movies is uh, Honor Majesty's Secret Service, with George Lazenby. Great cover as well, really like that one. Another real favourite is this. So this is uh, Man with a Golden Gun. Um, this was signed by Britt Eklund and Maud Adams. I met them in 2005, like almost 20 years ago now. Um, never sadly got to meet Roger Moore, which is a real shame. Would have loved to have met him and got him to finish this off as well. Um, but it wasn't to be, but you just see how fantastic they look. That's real, real display pieces, these, you know. And then the last ones uh, we got is, uh, well, you'll be familiar with these, Thrilling Cities 1 and 2. Now, it could be you might want them side by side like that, where the uh, the globe joins together. This is obviously Ian Fleming's travel writing. But they just really accentuate the books and, and they're easy to handle. They're very, I mean, the, the actual plastic is really quite thick, but it doesn't feel thick, you know. Um, it's UV resistant as well. Um, really, really tip top. And don't forget, it's not just books, it's all manner of collectibles that you can think of. So um, yeah, big show cards and, and obviously action figures and die casts. Um, DC do it all. And uh, I do suggest heading to their website if you've not checked it out. Um, there is a special book section now. So you're able to go there, you can size the book. There's, there's the standard like A format, B format, um, American, uh, f different American formats as well. Um, the Dell map back format, the ace doubles, which we saw there, they're all on there. Um, and you might just need to adjust them a millimeter or so here or there uh, before you uh, place your order. But if you have any questions, just drop Chris an email and he'll be uh, he'll be happy to uh, help you out. Anyway, before I pack them away, I want to have one last look at these because they just look so good. Now, I understand it's quite reflective here in the studio, but I thought you'd appreciate a nice close up look at these. They just look amazing. They really, really do. And uh, I've had the ones I've had done previous to this uh, stood up in front of my uh, bookcases on display and they just look fantastic. They really, really do. Awesome. So there you go. So I hope that's inspired you to perhaps get some of your more collectible or valuable paperbacks protected really, really rigidly in these fantastic deflector DC cases. Just to let you know, I'm not being sponsored by them. I'm not on any sort of commission. I don't have any affiliate links. I'm just a huge fan of these because it's something that the paperback market has been absolutely crying out for, for many, many years. And uh, they really do deserve your support. So don't forget, it's not just paperbacks, they do hardbacks as well. Virtually any book of any size is possible to have in one of these cases, as well as other bits of memorabilia that you might have, such as die cast, for example. So bear that in mind. Just drop Chris a line at Deflector DC. Tell him you saw the video on YouTube and uh, he'll know where it's come from. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video today. Hope you've enjoyed looking through these Bond books again. It's been a while and uh, I've really, really enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed today's video, do please give it that thumbs up. Do please hit the subscribe button if you've not already for regular vintage paperback content. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.